if I start telling people about hell, I might just scare them off. Where are you gonna scare them off to? Hell number two? Or are you just gonna sit there and let them burn? We're looking at how the Bible is unfolding before us. When we look at Matthew 24, we look at um, Revelations and, and, you know, in the book of Psalms and some of the minor prophets talked about these days. Daniel talked about these days, talking about the, the fourth beast is unlike any of the other beasts before it, where it obliterates everything in its path. So this is what we're going to talk about tonight. And we have our guest, Doc Marquise. Yes, how you doing there? How you doing, Doc? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing great. How about yourselves? I'm We're great. great. Uh, thank the Lord. Oh, just good. thank you for um, thank you for taking our time to come on our show. Oh, it's my pleasure. We were just having problems trying to connect before. Yeah, yeah. So now we have a clear reception, and we're gonna let you, you know, get into the whole thing. Here, the title is the Illuminati and their plan for the New World Order. So, anywhere you want to start. Well, what would you folks like to um, what would you like to begin with? I was just listening to was that Rory in the back? Um, that yes, was it was speaking before. Yes, yes. Okay, Rory, you were talking about um, mystery Babylon and all this, right? Yes, sir. Well, actually, there's no mystery about it. We can take um, the entire system. And track it all the way back to the Tower of Babylon itself, you know, with Nimrod and his mother, Semiramis. Mm -hmm. And when we look into the belief system of what they had started, it was um, by any um, definition you want to come up with, it was the very first religion upon the face of the earth, and it's known as witchcraft. Contrary to popular belief, Judaism is not the first religion. That came... Oh, my goodness, that, that was about a good 1,500 years later. But if we look at the Babylonian system, we could actually bring it all the way up to the creation of the Order of the Illuminati. You see, when Dr. Adam Weishaupt had officiated the Illuminati on May 1st, 1776, if we look at the religious system, of the Illuminati, which is known as Luciferian witchcraft, it's the same thing that you would have found in Babylon, except the difference is this Luciferian ideology, this, um, if you want to call it, um, Illuminism. The idea had, had always been there, but no one was able to actualize it until Dr. Weishaupt. And once it became officiated in a reality, for almost 250 years now, the Illuminati have been following a very strict seven-part plan towards, and this is in Dr. Adam Weishaupt's own words now, towards the novice or the seclorum, or translated from the original Latin, the New World Order. Now, when we think about this, the New World Order basically is supposed to be on a one-world governance under a one-world religious system, under a one-world monetary system, under a one-world global dictator. That's what the whole of the New World Order consists of. Now, isn't that the same thing that Nimrod had done after um, the great flood of Noah? Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. when we project this into the future, when the tribulation period is here and the Antichrist has taken over, if we look specifically at Revelation chapter 13, 17, and 18, we will find that's exactly what will happen again and exactly as it had been done with Nimrod and Dr. Adam Weishaupt himself. Well, Hence, shall we say, when Vice King um, Solomon said, and there was no new thing under the sun. Exactly. Exactly. And we, we talked about that in um, one of our recent Bible studies. Uh, how about, you know, all the things that are going on, don't be so perplexed by it because, you know, the Bible states, clearly states that there's nothing new under the sun. And some of these organizations and things, they've been around for so long, you know? Oh, and well, it can't be um, something new because in order for something to be new, we had to have learned the lessons of the past 
to avoid it in the future. Well, guess what? We haven't. If you like our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our frequent updates.